Hi, I'm Tina Sander and welcome to episode two of Our Mackay, Unlocking the Value of MacTown. Today, I welcome to the show my one and only sibling, my brother, Matt Sander. Uh, Matt is the director and co-founder, along with his beautiful wife, Casey, of Horizon Projects Mackay. Um, not many people know this, but it was actually Matt's idea to uh, start the office initially. So I thought it would be great to get uh, brother in today, as I refer to him, um, to have a conversation around why he came to me with that idea, um, some elements in the business that we've now implemented and how that is all now taking place. Welcome, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. So uh, I guess just so the audience is aware, uh, you came to me uh, in the middle of 2022 with a brainwave idea to open <laughs> Harcourt Smackdown. Do you maybe just want to share with us why and how you came up with that idea? Yeah, well, I think it was early or well, May 2022 when you were speaking down in the Gold Coast, mm. I think, um, at a conference. And you asked me to come down, so I come down and got to meet everyone. It was, you know, a, a good family-owned business, basically, and, you know, it uh, was great to meet everyone. I thought it was, a, you know, it'd be a good opportunity to start a business up in Mackay and, um, you know, start, start a, a business with the property management that we could build and grow together, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah, so Matt came to me with the idea. Um, I was obviously running here as Team Tina under Harcourts Coastal uh, from the Gold Coast, um, and I had a team of five at that given point in time. Yeah. Uh, and when Matt come and spoke with me, he said, hey, look, like, let's start an office. Let's grow up bigger and better than where you're at. Let's start the property management component as well. But the one thing I do really want to focus on today is that uh, when Matt did come and talk to me about it, he was like, let's also start a property maintenance division. Yeah. So we do have an internal property maintenance division called Horizon uh, Property Maintenance, um, and they take care of all the maintenance and bits and pieces attached to buyers, sellers, and landlords. So do you maybe want to talk us through how you come up with that idea and why? Yeah, well, like I said, that was the third initial part of it. It was first to get started with the Harcourt Smackdown, I suppose, and then, um, you know, property management, and then brought the maintenance side into it um, to basically you know, help out the uh, agents, the buyers and the sellers all in one to, you know, uh, give a great business, I suppose, um, where it's all combined together, basically. Um, you know, and, and make it work so everyone in the, you know, all together, uh, I suppose, make it easier in one, I suppose, in your sense, on your side and, you know, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I for those of you that do try and get trades or you're doing maintenance at home or for those of us that, for those watching that are agents, it can sometimes be a total minefield trying to organise five or six trades to get your ready, property ready to yeah. go to market. Yeah. If you're a property manager and you've got, you're managing a property and you need seven or eight different trades to bring that up to standard before you can get tenants, you project managing like seven or eight different people coming and going from a property, it, 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 it's a challenge. Um, and it's a real challenge just to get trades sometimes in Mackay now. So we've got Kirby that heads up our property maintenance division. So do you just want to maybe talk everyone through like how that works with Kirby, what she does? Yeah, so like uh, Teen said at the start, we are a family owned business, Horizon Projects. And, um, you know, as well as we're busy with that, um, Kirby uh, is our property manager um, for, oh, sorry, property manager, but the, the maintenance side, the managing uh, of the maintenance side, um, which she does an amazing job at. So Absolutely. she organised all the trades, all the sub trades, um, and you know she works with us with you know the building side of it to use the trade. So I suppose that's where it makes it easier, um, you know, to get the service. I suppose mm -hmm. um, in doing all the maintenance for everyone. Yeah. yeah, and the service component's really important. Like you know, this whole series is around us unlocking the value of this beautiful community of ours and. By us providing a service via Kirby, it's really unlocking the potential of properties. It's really unlocking the value of properties. It's also really ensuring that our clients are taken care of. The feedback around Kirby has been truly incredible from buyers, sellers, landlords, tenants, and obviously our team as agents and property managers. Like Kirby uh, is a one, it's a one-stop shop, literally, if you have a property and you're transacting within Harcourt's Mactown. 
So how many jobs have we done so far? I think I ran 700, I think, in 12 yeah. months, so, which yeah. is really, really good. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the business has only been open 12 months. We've done 700 property maintenance jobs for different people right across this beautiful community of ours. And that's just going to continue to grow as our business continues to grow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and then I guess, what are you most excited about in regards to the future of the business, like Harcourt's Mac Town, Horizon Property Maintenance? Yeah, well, I think, um, you know, the growth of it, I suppose, and um, you got to, you know, st steadily do it. Obviously, it's going really well. It's growing, you know, at a rapid pace at the moment, <laughs> um, which is good. Um, but yeah, I suppose just given the good service, you know, and you always have teething problems and whatnot, but I, I think it, it's cruising along really well at the moment, so. Yeah, I mean, like if, you know, I, I believe that the model that we do have in place around providing a new layer of service around the maintenance, you know, it's really important that, you know, when you do take a property to market, it is presented in its best fashion. We spoke about that last week. But I think the, the critical piece of the property maintenance side is around landlords and tenants. Like it ensures that the property is maintained for the longevity of that that owner's investment. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think, um, and, and also, you know, the property management side where you're just saying, but also for you guys as the agents, you know, when you're trying to get the houses ready, it's easy for us, you know, a seller to come to you and say, okay, well, you've got that service, let's do it. Um, you know, and quality service, that's what you want. Um, I suppose. Yeah, and I mean, the, the trades that we're using, they're getting consistent work from us. So they're really taking care of our clients and the properties and the craftsmanship. Like, the, the feedback has been truly incredible. There's no way that we, I don't think any of us, you, myself or Casey, could have predicted that the property maintenance component of the business would be running at the level that it's running and the feedback has just, it, yeah, it's been outstanding and it's exciting for the team as well. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose, like I say, you, you know, Kirby does an amazing job with it, I mm -hmm. suppose. And, you know, when you've got someone in good places, you know, it, it all works works well together. So yeah. yeah, definitely it's going good. I guess just so the audience has a little bit of context and gets a little bit of depth in regards to what Kirby is doing on the daily for our clients, um, maybe just give the viewers um, a bit of an understanding of the sorts of trades and the sorts of things that Kirby and your whole team are organising for our landlords, our sellers, and then also our buyers after settlement. Yeah, well, basically, I suppose your number one things for you know the, the you know sellers, buyers, or whatever you've got, um, she'll organise you know electricians for your smoke alarms, you know inside touch up painting, you know um, you've got your your gardens. That you've got to be tidied up mode or maintained continuously. Yeah. Um, you know, all just little bits and pieces, anything, up, you know, up to bigger jobs, bathroom renovations at some point. Um, yeah. You know, there, there's been a few of them. But um, yeah, so that it's a broad range of everything that you need done, basically. There's yeah, nothing absolutely. that she can't do for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a godsend for our property managers specifically because property managers, as we know, are normally the ones responsible for organising all of the tradespeople. So that's not just unlocking the value of the property, it's unlocking the potential of our property managers and allowing them to then focus on just working specifically with the landlords and tenants and letting Kirby do all the work attached to the maintenance of the property. And then on the, you know, on the flip side of that, for those of us that are agents, like, like I said earlier, like if you are navigating through trying to project manage multiple trades, your eyes taken off the ball for selling and marketing the property. So yeah. if we have Kirby taking care of all of that, the agents can just then focus on what they're employed to do, which is unlocking the value of the property, doing beautiful marketing, communicating with the sellers and all the buyers that there are in the marketplace right now. Yeah, it's just like we say, it just it helps out your team, mm -hmm. it helps out the management team, it just yeah, it helps yeah. out everyone so you can unlock the value, so you can concentrate on doing what you do best. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's very exciting to know where we might end up being in the next five to 10 years in the property maintenance component. I know there's been lots of different uh, Harcourts business owners and even some of the, the real estate business owners in town here that have spoken to us about it, how we've done it, how we've set it up and how it's going because it's genuinely been a significant game changer for the business. Yeah, yeah well, I think like talking with Mike, the founder of Harcourts, I suppose, he, he still doesn't really 
you know, get the gist <laughs> of it all. He said, you're bloody crazy, basically. But he said he doesn't even know of anyone else that actually, you know, mm. is doing that. So, yeah, yeah. you know, he, he thinks it's great. So. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, next week, we have our illustrious uh, CEO for Harcourts Queensland, Greg Allen, joining us. He's here for the day doing a uh, full training with our team and some one-to-ones. Uh, Greg is here to talk about everything Harcourts Queensland and how that directly impacts us here in Mackay. So we'll see you next week for our Mackay, Unlocking the Value of MacTown.